Uh, hello guys, a few months ago I bought this SSD MME drive and when I started using it I noticed that temperature is a little bit high. Here you can see it was 65 degree by Celsius and 65 is too much for SSD, especially for MME. It can start to throttle on this temperature. So I started thinking, what can I do with this? How can I decrease temperature? And I found in the internet this kind of radiator. Radiator for SSD drives. It came with this blue thermal pad and it made for SSDs. Mm, but when I started using SSD with this ra radiator, temperature is still pretty high. And I started thinking, what can I do? Can I do more? And I found solution, another solution, in addition to this radiator. And this, it's baby fence, little baby fence. Here you can see, I bought four these fans. And I think, hmm, I can combine radiator with this fence. It's 12 volt, 12 volt fence. Here you can see how they look. <laughs> Baby fence. I think three is enough for my SSDs. And let's make some me measurement. So one, two, and three. Three fans I can easily put here. And let's start. First, we need to prepare these fans for soldering. And I speed up this part of this video because maybe it's too boring to watch it. But we need to prepare. I need to cut off connectors. I need to prepare wires for soldering because I need to solder three plus wires and three minus wires together. I need to solder it together and then I can connect it into one socket into my motherboard. So I'm soldering plus contact and minus contact. And here you can see I have this kind of connector. I need to cut it to and now you can see it was power switch connector from my PC case and I will use it to power it on this three fans. I speed up this part again. Now I'm soldering minus wire, isolation, and plus wire. By this way, by this connection, we can power on all three fans just by using one connector. Just to put it into a PC case fan connector on my motherboard. Okay, now you can see how it looks. <laughs> so small. <laughs> Baby fans. And 
and now we need to mount it on this radiator we need to make some preparation to be sure that this fence fits well with this radiator let's adjust position yes nice and I decided to hold it just by using zip tie it's fastest and easiest way <laughs> how to hold all these parts together I speed up this part again because it's boring to watch at normal speed as you can see I'm just using zip tie to hold together SSD, radiator and fence. First one is ready. Second one. Maybe if you know mm, best ways how to connect all these parts together, write in comment please. <laughs> I think only about zip ties maybe you know how to can make it easier and faster and more aesthetic <laughs> because this zip ties looks not too aesthetic okay and third one almost ready okay and now you can check final result how it looks front part <laughs> it looks like graphic card yes <laughs> like RTX with this ma massive fence massive radiator now you can see closer how it looks <laughs> yeah real looks like graphic card front side back side side parts I think it's beautiful. <laughs> and now you can try to insert it into my motherboard. Few moments to fit, few moments to adjust. And almost ready. Yes, click. And final screw. Oh, blackout happened. <laughs> Guys, I'm from Ukraine and sometimes it's happened because of, you know what I'm talking about. But it's not a problem. I'm just take my flashlight, lights up my PC case, and you can continue. <laughs> okay, final screw. We need to drive it into motherboard. And the screw hold SSD on the motherboard okay now 
I'm connecting power cable into PC case fan socket. And we can test it. Now I'm assembling all PC parts together. Assembling graphic card. Power supply for, for graphic card. And let's take a look how it looks. <laughs> nice, beautiful, I think. And let's power it on. It's working. <laughs> it's working, guys. Temperature in my house is 26.6 degrees by Celsius. And we need to know this temperature for tests. Okay. Let's test it. I'm using Crystal Disk Mark, Crystal Disk Info, and what we can see, 42 degrees by Celsius. Good result, but we need to test it under full load, under 100% of using SSD drive and I'm using crystal disk mark for this few minutes and what we can see 52 degree it was 65 degree by Celsius now it's 52 I think it's good result under full load Here you can see a percentage of SSD drive using 100%. 100% using SSD. And here you can see sometimes 50, sometimes 52 degree by Celsius. I think it's good result under full load. Yes. Sometimes 50, sometimes 52. I think it's good result. So guys, thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, if you learned something new, please press like button, write some comment, or even subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. If you learned something new, if this video was interesting, or something like that, just write some comment, please. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, have a good day, good luck.